If you've been following recent developments in technology, you've likely come across the topic of the AI revolution and how tools like ChatGPT are taking the internet by storm, which seems to be just a small part of what the future holds. Additionally, there has been discussion around the potential for AI to replace human jobs in the near future. Now you're probably thinking, what is ChatGPT, how does it work, and most importantly, what are the potential use cases for ChatGPT? That's exactly what I'll be covering throughout this video, along with showing you examples on how to use ChatGPT. It's important to note that ChatGPT is a powerful tool. However, like any tool, you need to learn how to use it for it to be effective. This is why I strongly recommend you watch the whole video so you don't miss a thing. Before we get into it, these videos take a long time to make and it'll be greatly appreciated if you can smash the like and subscribe button. That being said, let's get into it. Now, what is ChatGPT? Simply put, ChatGPT is a computer program that can understand and respond to text in a way that is similar to how a human would. It can generate text by writing a story or having a conversation. It was trained on a large amount of text from the internet and can generate responses that are similar to what a human might say. This is also known as generative AI. It's different to the other AI we've seen on companies like Google and Facebook. You see, normal AI, also known as applied AI, is designed to perform specific tasks, such as image recognition and natural language understanding for search. These AI systems are trained on a specific set of data to perform a specific task, and they're usually not capable of learning or adapting to new tasks on their own. Generative AI, on the other hand, is designed to generate new content. For example, a generative AI model might be trained to generate text or image that are similar to a given input. They are usually built using a technique called deep learning, which allows them to learn and adapt to new tasks on their own. Now you may be thinking, how is this possible? It does this by looking at large data sets of texts provided by humans and learning from it. These large data sets are in the form of books, articles, and websites. ChatGPT can be thought of as a student who is learning a new language. The student is given a large amount of text in the language they are trying to learn, just like how ChatGPT is given a large amount of text to learn from. The student reads the text trying to understand grammar, vocabulary, and sentence structures. Similarly, ChatGPT analyzes the text and learns the patterns of the language. When a student is prompted to speak or write in a language, they use what they've learned to generate a response. The same is done when ChatGPT is given a prompt. It uses the patterns it has learned to generate a response in the form of a text. The more the student is exposed to language, the better they become at understanding and speaking it. Similarly, the more ChatGPT is exposed to, the better it becomes at understanding and generating text. Essentially, it's a computer version of a human that's very good at learning and understand how to write at a high level and learn new skills efficiently. You could say it's like a fast learner on steroids. Now, as promised, it's time to show you some examples on how to use ChatGPT. Okay, so here we have the interface of ChatGPT. Over here it shows you some examples on what you can search for, what the capabilities are, and also the limitations on the right. Now, let's ask it to write us a short story of a successful businessman that decided to turn his round uh, that decided to turn his life around, and his name is Mark. As you can see, it'll start generating the story instantly. Which is never seen before. Now let's ask it to make it 100 words. 100 words. As you can see, it cut it down to 100 words, which is absolutely amazing. You can also feed ChatGPT data and ask you to give you information or new ideas from that data. An example could be a YouTube video recently went viral with this title make me five variations of YouTube titles that'll go viral similar to this and it'll start immediately spitting out YouTube titles that are optimized for the algorithm, tailored around the topic you give it and around the title you've given it. This usually takes a long time for people to figure out. Now make them under 
50 characters. Now this saves YouTubers and people that are trying to create things a lot of time. Now that you've seen what ChatGPT is capable of, I want to show you some limitations. So OpenAI, which is the company that founded ChatGPT, understood that people may be interested in using ChatGPT for malicious intent. So if I ask ChatGPT how to hack a bank, I'm sorry I'm not able to generate content that promotes illegal activities, such as hacking a bank. So there are limitations that fall within the actual ChatGPT guidelines and OpenAI are constantly working to make sure the security is where it needs to be and they're constantly tweaking those limitations. You can have a read of those limitations at the front page or even in the document. Now let's ask you to translate this story into a different language. I don't even have to copy and paste the whole story. It already remembers the conversation we had. That's how cool it is. And there you go. It's translating the whole story into a different language. And I can also decide if I want to stop generating. Now we understand what it is and how it works, let's move on to the potential use cases of ChatGPT and most importantly, which industries it'll impact. First up, we have programmers. ChatGPT is a powerful tool that can assist programmers in a variety of ways. One of its main capabilities is code completion. Remember how earlier we discussed it can learn things quickly? Well, guess what? Coding is something that can be learned. By analyzing and understanding a large amount of code, ChatGPT can provide suggestions for completing a piece of code, helping programmers save time and improve their productivity. Another way ChatGPT can help programmers is by detecting errors in the code and suggesting corrections. I introduced my developer friend to ChatGPT earlier this year and he told me it was like unlocking a secret weapon in his arsenal. In just a month, he's fallen in love with the technology and uses it every single day. Day. Next up, we have any industry that involves the written word. That includes writing, poetry, media, films, and even entire books. It has the ability to revolutionize industries that rely heavily on written content. From crafting the perfect script for a movie to creating compelling ad copy, the possibilities are endless. This technology is set to change the game for copywriters, marketers, and anyone involved with media. Next up, we have labor intensive jobs like customer service. Usually in the past, we'll have normal chatbots, but we'd need a real person to interact properly. However, now with the use of ChatGPT, chatbots can understand natural language and respond in a way that is similar to how a human would. This will also impact personal assistance. Just a few years ago, Google gave a glimpse of how the future of their AI powered assistant making a reservation all by itself. And let's be real, a few years in tech is like a lifetime. We've also got the language translation industry that will be impacted. You saw from the example before, it's very easy to translate from English to any language you want. Yes, we have Google Translator, but this is actually more accurate than Google Translate and easier to access. And the last one I have on the list is language summarization. As you saw, ChatGPT can be used to summarize a large text to a shorter version that captures the main idea of the text. In the example I've shown, we use a story. However, the same can be done for books, and long articles on the internet. This technology will come in handy for busy professionals, students, or anyone who needs to stay informed but doesn't have the time to read everything in depth. It's like having a personal research assistant at your fingertips, ready to give you the most important information fast. Now with all this information, I can't help but think, will we as human beings be irrelevant? Will AI run our whole lives? Will it do everything for us? Since it's smarter than us, it can learn quicker than us, and it's much more efficient. Well, the good news is the answer is no. AI is a tool for us to use, not a replacement of us. However, keep in mind, just like the internet, if you don't learn how to use it properly, you will fall behind. That's why it's important you watch this video here, so you can use these five tools to supercharge your productivity and make you ahead of the curve.